Super easy to hook up, by the way. You got four slots on these thermostats. The outer ones are for the load. So positive on this side, negative on that side. And then the two middle ones are positive to the power source. And then the last one is also for negative for the power source. And that's it. I think the cut on is 3.7. Yep, there it is. Should kick on at 30. Okay. Cool. See the probe right there? It's about halfway down, so it's not even all the way at the bottom. It may be a little cooler at the bottom. So when you open it, you lose all the cool air fast. Forty seven, forty eight, forty two, forty three. All right, so a couple quick things before we get started. First off, it's just made with four things the cooler, thermostat, filter unit, and a plug. And that's optional, so three or four. First thing I'm going to do is show you how I cut the hole in the lid and fasten that down. Then I'll add the plug and we'll do some quick temp tests on it. Then after that I'll throw the thermostat on and we'll do some temp tests with that as well. First thing I'm going to do, just drop it up there and center it. Then we'll mark it off and cut the hole. Three by three, we'll do it. All right, let's give it a try. Perfect. All right, then to hook it up, just take your 12 volt plug, all the black wires to this side, all the red to that side. I'll clean it up later, but for now I'm just gonna clamp them on and we'll do some tests.
Oh, brother. If you've ever tried to put one of these cases together, man. A lot of tiny little parts. All right, it's been exactly 15 minutes. We got it all the way down to A2 from room temperature. A2, by the way, in Fahrenheit is around 46. It'll probably take now another 10 or 15 minutes. There's A1 to get to the lower 40s, but it's going good. Okay, just wanted to give you one final shot. I went ahead and added the plastic case, optional plastic case around the circuit board and velcroed it down right on the corner. So we still got good clearance with this all the way, including clearance for your fingers under here. Now the only other thing I'm going to do is add that plug, get rid of the test leads and twist it on there. Then you can plug it into your car, solar panels, 12 volt, deep cycle battery, whatever you want to do. I specifically designed this one with the idea of you could use it in your car. It's only 6 amp 12 volts, 72 watts, so easily could run this through your car SIG lighter. You could actually put a splitter and run two of them through it and it'd be perfectly fine. That'd only be 12, 12 amps. The power socket in the car can usually handle up to 15, so 12 is fine also. The fan, by the way, if you're wondering, is blowing down into the heat sink and the air is shooting out the edges. By the way, the heat sink on this side, the warm one, it only gets warm, it doesn't get hot. That's probably, I don't know, maybe 90 Fahrenheit, but nowhere near, like, super hot. So, the lid itself doesn't even really get warm. It's reading at about 88. Let's take another look. I think it's about 88 Fahrenheit, 87, 30.4. So not hot at all. The top is 70, the side 71.5, 22 Celsius, Again, the reason I chose this one is because this, is, this unit is sized well for this. It's actually a little oversized, but that's kind of what you want. So this cools down fast and keeps it cool all the time. This thing can cool technically about double the size, but I thought it'd be good for this. I chose this ice chest for that reason with this. Also, it looked like if I put it up here, I could swing the handle up and it wouldn't touch. I'd have room for the fingers and everything, and, if, and it works perfect that way. The other reason is that the lid is flat and it's not that fat. A lot of them, they're super fat, and it wouldn't be indented enough if you set it on top. So with this, it's perfect. So it's an 80 millimeter fan here, 80 millimeter heat sink this way, about 100 millimeter that way, large aluminum heat sink. This side, we got the 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter. Right underneath this is the Peltier cooling chip. That's 40 by 40 millimeter too, so it's 40, 40, 40, then that's padding, 
and then you got the heat sink here, the larger one for the hot side, and the 80 millimeter fan with the fan guard. And then they had the wires coming out all together. It's pretty cool. Make sure when you cut the hole, not just to do the 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter hole and drop it straight through. Otherwise, you won't get the proper airflow around this and it won't cool as well. You want to go more with a hole the size of the padding, or maybe just a little less, but the full size of the heat sink with the edges and the screws, and even a little bit wider than that, 